Okay, guys, we're going to be counting the sleeve pass today. It's a very common pass. works very well in jiu-jitsu. Okay, Tessa's going to be standing up with my sleeve. Okay, but when she does this, she affords me a free hand. I'm going to come underneath her ankle just like I'm going to do a single ankle sweep and bump my hips into her knees. But maybe that's not working. Maybe she's very balanced. It's hard to bump her over. So what I'm going to do is invert underneath her and take her back. Okay, I'm going to drop my knees, turn them sideways. I'm going to pass her leg over my head, come underneath, bring my knees to my chest. Come up. Make a grip on the back. My ankles are in the back of her knees. I'm gonna kick forward. Take your back. My hands will usually hit the mat and the choke follows. Okay, again. Up here. She stands up with the sleeve. Come underneath the ankle. Okay, target sweeper. Drop my knees. Okay, turn them sideways. Come underneath your leg. Okay, usually they'll let go of their grip about halfway through. I pull my knees to my chest, reach up, make a grip. I've used my shin bones and my ankles to push her in the back of her knees. Kick forward, her hands will hit the mat, come right up for the choke, short choke, okay? Okay, just watch me drill it. Okay. Okay, guys.